Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, we'll start off with like a, I don't know what we'll call this. Maybe like quick talk with like Addy and Lorenzo or something. Because we're always going to have that five minutes to the gym, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not feeling my best today. Um, I've had four hours of sleep. 6 a.m. in the morning, freezing cold outside. Um, but I know, you know what? I still, I love these conditions though. Because if you can work out in these conditions, um, you can work out in any other conditions. And this, this sets up the stage for any hardships that's gonna come through you in life. And um, one of the questions I wanna address is, that I get a lot is how do you stay true to your path? How do you have the motivation um, when everything's in you, man? Uh, when Murphy's Law is on your back, uh, nothing's going right. Uh, financially, physically, relationally, everything's just, everything's just down, man. How do you still stay true to what you're supposed to do that day? And that's a very complicated, complicated question. Um, and there's a very, I don't, I don't know if there's an answer to that. That's the holy grail of questions, guys. If you can answer that, you can do anything in life. Um, but I'm gonna give it to my best shot, though. Um, so what do you do, guys? How do you, how do you approach a problem? Nothing. So what I do is, guys, when nothing's going right, um, you know, take a day out of your life. Take a day off your friends. Take a day out of work. Take a day out of working out. Take a day out of everything. All the negative energy, guys. Get the heck out of there. Go to your local hospice center. Go to your local cancer center. Talk to a war veteran. Talk to people who are on their deathbeds. Talk to the guy who just came out of war and lost his two arms. Talk to that six-year-old boy who's not going to see his next birthday. Talk to him and, and tell him that you're burning out. You can't do this. And see, that doesn't kill him right there and then. I don't know what to say, guys. Honestly, If that doesn't give you the motivation to get up and go work out or I mean, even if you don't like working out, get do whatever you were supposed to do in your life, I mean, you're a shitty person. I hate to say that, but honestly, I don't know what else to say.
Yep, it so, was definitely a good day. Uh, I think we did. Yeah, we talked about you, you're gonna see the footage, but it's a it's a, it was a push day. Uh, what we didn't film, we finished is with. Uh, uh, it was like a superset with uh, front lateral raises or yeah, front, with the cable. Yeah, front yeah. lateral raises with uh, cable the ropes and, and cable. So mm -hmm. you're always under constant tension. Yeah. Um, superset then, with uh, uh, tricep push downs. Yeah, with the ropes as well. So. That so was, basically, when I was doing one exercise, he was doing the other. Yeah. That's what superset means, yeah. just so um, people who yeah, yeah. are trying to get, get into it know what it is. And so, yeah, we do, like, I think that's, we do that a lot, actually. Usually, yeah. for, like, finishers, uh, it's good for, like, hypertrophy and, um... Uh, getting that pump, the, right? Obviously the pump, so. Oh. So in the there's beginning, we did, we, we compounds. I think... Compounds. Yeah, you always do compounds in the beginning, so we started with a flat dumbbell press. I would say, usually, uh, I like to start with, like, a, a bench press, mm -hmm. but today, uh... I guess it was, was kind of, they were all occupied, so um, we just wanted to get the filming in and uh, get something for you guys, uh, not waste our time because obviously we have to do the class later on. Right. So, <laughs> um, so the first shoulder exercise we did was a seated, like Bar unsupported back. Yeah, so it's like a seated bar. Oh, you'll see. You'll see, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, seated was, barbell press, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like a military press? Yeah, it's like a military press, but, but you're seated. Seated, and then there's no back, so. Mm -hmm. That was so I feel like uh, it's better than military press because when you're standing, you kind of get that uh, um, leg, leg drive. Yeah, leg drive, and you have other muscle groups that are helping you put the weight up. So we especially eat, it's it's worse than like the seated uh, press because you don't have back support either. Yeah, yeah. So it's like you're still like engaging your core and your back to stabilize yourself. Yeah. Um, and that was definitely something. And uh, then um, I, at the end, we just finished off with some stretching. Yeah, so we it's always, always it's always a good idea to kind of just. Start, get like a cool down in after yeah. any workout because uh, it helps your muscles recover faster mm -hmm. too when you stretch and stretch that muscle um, and when you recover faster obviously uh, you have better gym workouts the next workout you, you go into the gym yeah so that's the idea is because obviously we're hitting high intensity like, like a bunch of days a week right. five to seven um, just depending on the week and uh, the goal is to always recover as fast as possible mm -hmm. so that way you can grow and do well your next workout yep um, 
so yeah definitely an exciting day yeah and uh let us let, let us know like what kind of videos you guys want in the future too right like um we kind of logged this along with the workout so um what do you guys like more uh kind of like a workout plus law kind of videos we're gonna come out with some motivational work just purely workout videos too in the future mm -hmm. um so just let us know like any kind of criticisms constructive criticism we, we we don't take anything personally yeah obviously because no. we know we have flaws yeah we're well, gonna grow yeah it's just, it's just the point of it is just to get better and uh that Help comes people. through both positive and negative right criticism um and, support, and encouragement yeah. yeah so i think it was a good day overall mm -hmm. 6 a.m first time we've done that in a while but now we gotta go to class